morning everyone Kathy here um, today I'm doing another test batch yes after my failed one last time I'm gonna do another test batch but this time I'm not piping so I don't really need to worry too much as long as I get it poured and it doesn't seize on me so <laughs> I think it was the rose fragrance last time maybe I don't know so anyway what, what I'm gonna do is I'm trying out Brambleberry's fierce type fragrance because I got it in the mail yesterday with my shipment and it smells divine so I thought I have to try something with it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to split my little batch I'm going to color part of it with the turquoise teal mica powder from crafters choice and the other I'm going to leave white and swirl them and then somebody told me because they have these cute little uh, gold accents on their soap so I'm like did you put them on after you unmold them because they were a molded soap? And she's like, no. She says, what I do is spray the mold with alcohol and put all my embellishments in first. That way they stick to the mold and don't get absorbed into the soap. So I'm going to give that a try. I've sprayed my molds. I got these cute little heart uh, soap molds and then I just have an extra one in case I go over. But I sprayed them down and I put in some, uh, uh, I've got my little gold uh, mica uh, and I drizzled it into the hearts with my pipette and I sprinkled a little bit of glitter in. I don't know if it'll show up, but anyway, so I'm going to, I'm going to swirl my two, my blue and my white together. I'm not, I'm not scenting the white. I'm scenting the blue. We'll swirl them together and then I'll pour them into the molds. So that's my plan. So we're going to get started here and hopefully this works. And turns out cute. So I got my oils. Pour in my lye. I guess I gotta get my stick blender too, don't I? I have my stick blender attachment. So, I hate to say, we had a dusting of snow yesterday. Oh, I'm so upset. It's too early. It's not even Halloween yet. And we had snow. Just disgusting. I came out, my husband messaged me while I was at work. He says, it's snowing. He sent me a picture. I'm like, ugh. So then I went out the back door from the store. And it's like, oh my gosh, it is snowing. But I didn't need my scraper yet, thank goodness. The windshield wipers cleared it off. So hopefully this is just like a tease with the uh, snowfall. See, I don't want to over blend this. So I'm going to pour half off. Just kind of eyeballing it. Okay. I'm going to color part white. The other blue. Just a little, little of this turquoise teal. There go the dogs. Look at that blue. And I have to spray them down. There's blue. My 
fragrance. I'll just stir it with the spoon here. Looks like a pretty yellow fragrance. So I'm changing my color a little bit. And then we're just gonna swirl in the white. I should spritz them one more time. Just start out with this. didn't seize on me today. Thank goodness. Well, I think I can, I don't think I'm going to need that other mold. More blue at the bottom here. decided it's play time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let these set up since this is a quick little video. And then when I unmold them, I'll video again and have my husband edit them because I'm no good at that. And then we'll, we'll stitch them together. So we have one video. Dogs make such silly noises sometimes. Oh, now they're fighting. Be nice, puppies. Hey, don't fight with your brother. Hey, stop that. So, so hopefully. I hope the gold on these turns out. That would be really cool. I mean, I don't know if we can see underneath yet. I think it's going to turn out because it, okay, I can still see the gold underneath. So anyway, we'll stop the taping for now. We'll come back. And, excuse you. And uh, we'll come back when they're ready to be popped out. Okay? So... We'll uh, stop the tape, we'll come back, we'll pop them out, and I'll edit the tape, and then uh, you guys won't know any of this going on. But anyway, we'll be back when we pop them out. Hello, Kathy's back here, and we're doing the, uh, the Fierce unmolding, my test on the, the Fierce by Brambleberry, and I already popped a couple of these out. Uh, of the mold and so so far they're coming out beautifully and see what I wanted actually came through great I got the the little gold accents with the mica 
uh, and it worked. So I can I can't remember who gave me that tip. Um, I wish I could. I'd go and thank her. Um, I tried looking this morning, uh, but uh, I couldn't find her name. So anyway, thank you again to whoever gave me the tip of spraying the mold first and then doing my little mica drizzle and then pouring because it worked beautifully. And then these came out really easy out of the mold. I'm surprised I didn't have to put them in the freezer or anything. So there we go. My uh, gorgeous man soap with a gold highlight. Um, the dupe of Abercrombie and Fitch's Fierce. Um, I can't tell how it is uh, compared to the actual fragrance because I've never smelled it. But I can tell you it smells fantastic. So I'm going to take the camera off here and give you guys another good look. So here we go, real beautiful, and and a really nice men's fragrance, but uh, I love the technique, it worked great, and I will definitely be trying it again. So there you go, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye everybody.